Hi guys, Amanda here. Today we have a fast eight minute kettlebell workout. You're just gonna need the one bell, about a medium weight. We're gonna have a few exercises that are gonna be single arm movements, so it's really gonna test your core stability on this one. We're gonna have 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, and it's gonna be a fast paced one. If you haven't already warmed up, there's a link down below, and then let's go. All right, so we're gonna get started with an offset squat. So we're gonna bring that weight up to your shoulder and let's go straight down into that squat. Keep that chest lifted and those feet should be a little bit wider than your hips for this one. Make sure that your feet are nice and flat. Now, if your weight is a little too heavy in this position, you can always bring it down by your side for that suitcase squat. On the other hand, if you want a little bit more of a challenge, maybe your weight is a little lighter, you can always bring it for that overhead squat. All right, let's keep it up. We got another 15 seconds. Let's spread your toes. It'll help you get a bit more stability through the feet. That's it. Keep it going. Five seconds, and then we'll rest before we switch to the other side. All right, and rest. All right, we're going in 10 seconds. So again, we're gonna grab that weight, making sure that it's on that 45 degree angle. Shoulder blades back and down. And, all right, let's go. That's it. If that weight, if that bell's rolling forward on your shoulder, maybe you're not pulling your shoulder back enough. So make sure that your shoulder blade is locked back and down. Or maybe you're hinging forward. So making sure that we're looking straight ahead on this one. Really engage that core. That's it. All the way down, no cheating. <laughs> nice step, about knee and hip in line at the bottom. So in line, you don't have to go all the way down. Three seconds, so one more. All right, and rest. All right, so up next is a single arm swing. This one, you can feet a little wider than your hips here. You can start with your bell just between your legs but between your toes. All right, we're going in five. We're gonna grab the bell right in the middle. Chest stays up, hiking it back, and then driving it forward. All right, and let's go. So make sure that you're locking out at the top. So you wanna stand up nice and tall. So lock out the knees, stand up tall. That's it, you got it. And we're gonna relax through the elbow as well. So this arm that I'm swinging the bell with, that elbow is a little bit bent. 15 seconds, and then we'll rest. That's it. And you can see that I'm using my other arm here. It's coming with me. And that will prevent me from dropping down like this. We're gonna keep it forward today. All right, let's rest. Put that bell down. And same thing, just the other side. <sighs> All right, getting ready to go in five seconds. So let's get those feet planted, spread your toes, grab the bell in the middle, eyes forward, and here we go. And we're just bringing that bell up to about eye level. So my wrist and my shoulder are roughly in line. We don't want that bell up too high. If it's going really high, then maybe your uh, weight is a little light. And that's okay. That's it. And 10 more seconds. That's it, keep hinging at those hips. Avoid any squat in this one. This is like a deadlift swing. And last one, all right. Let's put that bell down. All right, so the next one we're gonna do is a windmill. If you haven't done a windmill before, you can do it without the bell. We're gonna start with one foot. That's gonna face forward, and that will be the arm that has the bell. You can make a fist if you're not gonna have weight. Other foot's to the side, and we're gonna hinge down. All right, let's go, timing. So we're just gonna hinge all the way down, and you're gonna work within your range too. So, bend in that front knee just a little bit so that it's not completely locked out. That's it, maybe you're here, and that's fine. That's gonna depend on your mobility on how far you can go down. So 15 more seconds. Maybe you're all the way down. 
Maybe you can just kind of come to your knee and that's it. You're good. Come down and all the way up. And all right, now we're resting. So put that bell down. And other side. All right, we're going in 10. So again, we want to have that weight on that 45. That foot that has the bell is forward. The other foot just off on that 45 degree angle. All right, here we go. So bringing that weight straight up, you might have to bring that foot out a little wider. Now the kettlebell stays stacked right above the shoulder, okay? And you can see that my eyes are glued to my fist as well. So I wanna make sure that that weight stays right over my shoulder, stays stacked. You got it. 15 seconds. I like this one, this one tests your mobility as well as your strength. You can do this one with a light weight for a warm up or a mobility day. And last one. All right, and put it down. Or you can do it with a bit of a medium weight and uh, make it more of a strength focus. All right, so the last exercise we're doing is a racked lunge. We're gonna go with five seconds. So again, we're having that bell up by our shoulder in that 45 degree. And we're gonna step back with the same leg. All right, here we go. So same foot comes back. Again, if you want to challenge, you can bring that bell overhead, making sure that you're going, whoop, <laughs> slow and steady, making sure you engage the core, you're doing this one. And again, your other option, if this is too much, if your bell's too heavy, bring it down by the side. You got it. That's it, keep it going. I'm gonna really push down into that front foot. 10 seconds, almost there. And last one. All right, and rest, bring that bell down. All right, one more to go. So if you have a little bit more time, you can always go back to the start and do it a couple more times, about three to five sets. It depends on how heavy your weight is. All right, so we're going in five seconds. Again, bring that weight, 45, and we're gonna step back with the same leg, remember? All right, let's go. So really spread the toes. It really helps with keeping your balance and really keeping that core engaged as well will help with your balance too. That's it, you got it. We got 15 seconds, really push hard into that front foot. So driving into the front, make sure that we're not pushing off of the back. All the work is in that front leg. All right, and one more, Woo! and there it is. Awesome. Well, thank you for joining me today. Again, if you have more time, go back and do it another two or three times. Thanks for joining me today. Have a great day. See you guys.